Floss Tube. Happy Tuesday. I'm Pam. Welcome to my channel. This is Flossmas number eight because today is Tuesday, December 8th. I wanted to say it was Wednesday. It feels like a Wednesday. Um, it's very gloomy outside and I feel like Wednesdays are gloomy. I don't know why. There's no science behind that. Um, and also, I want to apologize if my lighting is terribly bad because, again, it's gloomy outside. Um, what do I want to talk about? Cross-stitching, for sure, because that's what my channel is all about. So if you are finding my channel for the first time and you're wondering what the heck is Flossmas and Flosstube, um, Flossmas is something that some floss tubers do um, leading up to during the holiday season, they do short little videos every day. And a floss tuber is somebody who makes um, YouTube videos to talk about their cross stitching and crafting and um, because cross stitchers use floss to stitch with. I hope that was a good explanation. Anyway, thank you to my returning viewers. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stay a while. Um, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button um, and all that stuff. I'm sure this is not your first YouTube video. You know how that works. Um, okay, so every single Flossmas video, I have been giving away a random card. You don't know which one you're getting to um, one of the viewers who comments on the video before. So yesterday's winner was Abra Dexter. Yay, Abra. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, I wanted to say Abra and not Abra, but maybe it's Abra. Um, but anyway, Abra or Abra, you won. <laughs> so that'll go out in the mail today. And if you want a chance to win one of those cute little cards, all you need to do is comment on this video. I will pick a winner tomorrow morning and make sure that you have filled out the Google form that's in the description box. Um, you only have to fill it out once. So if you filled it out on Flossmas day one, you don't have to fill it out every day. I just need it one time. It's so that I have your mailing address if you win and I don't have to chase you down, but you have to be 18 in order to give me your mailing address. That's super important. And also do not say giveaway in your comments. That seemed easy enough. Okay, what did I do yesterday? Um, yesterday, I worked a little bit more. I have been working on um, four boys and an NL girl. I'll have her Etsy shop linked below. Um, and Caroline from Off The Grid have partnered up again this year for Flossmas to raise money for Muscular Dystrophy Canada. So Patty Brake, who is four boys and an NL girl, designed this super cute little Flossmas ornament. And um, you can get it on her Etsy shop and 50% of the proceeds go to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. So I've been working on this. And I got a little bit done and I only got a little bit because I'll show you what I spent the bulk of my day yesterday working on. Um, this is being stitched on, oh wow, my lighting is horrific today. Um, it's being stitched on a piece of 32 count scrap linen that I had. It's not a Swigart base, um, that, that much I know. <laughs> and it's 32 count, that's all the information I have. So, this is, I switched out some colors, so I'm making a greenhouse because I live in a greenhouse and I have a brown roof. Um, and I'm not really a log cabin and skiing sort of gal. I don't, I don't do winter sports. I mostly don't do sports. I, I did track and field in high school. I threw the shot put, um, but that's the extent of my sporting. So I might not put the skis in when it comes to that point. Like I'm never going to be at a ski lodge on a ski mountain. Like I live in New England and I could get to one in an hour, but it's not going to happen. We go up to Vermont um, and New Hampshire and stuff in the summer when there's no snow. I like that. <laughs> I love snow. I love the mountains. I don't, I don't like when you pair them together, even sledding. I don't understand. I mean, I, I guess I liked it as a kid, but even then you, you spend like 30 seconds going down the hill and then you have to walk back up the hill. I don't want to do that. If you guys love those, those sorts of, you know, snow and hill sports, 
I, yay for you. <laughs> it's not for me. Um, okay. Anyway, back to what I stitched on yesterday. I finished the snow on the roof. I built a chimney. Some smoke came out of the chimney. I put on my porch roof with a little, a little dusting of snow. And I started on the big H for home. So it kind of looks like a, it's an S or maybe like, I don't know, is that a treble clef, a G clef? I don't know which one is which. I took piano for years and I don't remember how to read music. That's kind of what it looks like, but it's just gonna be a swirly part on the H. Swirly H bits. Um, I am stitching my house in Gentle Arts Avocado. And I'm stitching the words in Etoile, which is DMC's sparkly, ooh, it, it's showing up the good sparkles for once. Um, it's sparkly. I wish that I had done the smoke in a gray sparkly, but you know what? It's good enough, I'm not taking it out now. To me, having to rip out stitches and replace them is for dire emergencies, not for design change. All right, so what did I work on yesterday? I did a fair amount of FFOing. And if you are new to Floss Tube Bland, um, FFO stands for Fully Finished Object. It's when you turn your finished stitching piece into something you can display. Um, so this year in 2020, um, I stitched these guys. I'll find them. So this is the ultimate cross stitch Christmas magazine. It was volume 23, 2019. Um, I assume this is a UK publication because the price is in pounds, um, but I got it at Barnes and Noble's last Christmas. I don't know, maybe you can find it online. I don't, I don't know how that sort of thing works. Um, anyway, they were called Winter Wonderland by Emma Congdon, who is um, the genius behind Stitchrovia. I love the way she uses color. So I got them stitched up this year, and then all I had to do was turn them into ornaments. Because I have four sisters and a mom and a dad too, but he doesn't participate in the ornament exchange. Um, and we exchange ornaments every year, except not, I guess... Not that you guys care or that the details are super important, but I have four younger sisters, but one of them lives with my mom. And so she does not participate in the ornament exchange um, because they don't need double the amount of ornaments in my mom's house, in, in my parents' house. My parents live together, but for whatever reason, it's my mom's house. Anyway, um, so I made four ornaments and we don't, they don't all hand make their ornaments. It's not a prerequisite. Like you can buy your ornaments if you want to but this is the second year I have stitched their ornament. And the first year I have attempted this sort of uh, FFO. So they turned into little, I'll show all four of them. So they have, these are not perfect circles, but they're good enough. Um, so yeah, super cute. Look at their little sweaters. They're doing the crazy thing that I don't like to do. Um, so backing fabric. And then I had, I got this big thing of, um, yarn or whatever this is, chenille at Joann's. And it, I don't know, it was $10. I don't remember if I had a coupon. If I had a coupon, it was probably like $5, but this is going to last me forever. And I looped it around and then I stuck a little bead. They kind of look like, it looks like an ornament topper. And then I just, you know, tied off the ends. So that was number one. And then number two, that one, that one kind of had a little like sparkly bling. Sorry, I'm not looking at you guys anymore because I'm like totally focused on my ornaments. They all have the same backing fabric, which I think I also just got it Joann's. I got like a, I don't know, a quarter fabric and they're a little warped. I probably could have kept them flatter while the glue was drying. It's okay. They're just going to hang in trees. I love that one. I don't know which one's my favorite. So that one, the, all the little beads are different. And then this one had a little bit of a, an issue. I did not, um, I didn't have a center. So then I had to carry this a little further and then I couldn't put the bead on cause it looked weird. So I stuck a little like snowflake charm on there and I didn't have needle nose pliers to open the little loop. So I had to like thread it on. It's not perfect. 
my sister is not going to care. Although this one was probably the best circle and it's not worked. So, oh my gosh, look at, I'm just going to show these designs one more time. Emma Conkton is like a genius. I can't. They're so amazing. They're so amazing. And I finish them right up to their edges. They don't, I, I just, I liked the way that looked. There's the shading. I just, in, the shading in the snow, like the shadows. Oh my gosh. I wish that I had stitched them for me. Anyway, that's what I worked on yesterday. And because I am not a good, very good crafter, I'm not, I, I'm not crafty. Um, it took me quite some time and maybe crafting always takes time. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of new to it. So that was it. That was it for me yesterday. That's what I worked on. Um, I did want to show you one more thing. This might be a little bit of a longer one today. So I came out here this morning and my snow people here were just demolished because the cat, um, but, and I need to be careful because these guys, these are little homemade pine cone snow people carolers. And my husband made these when he was back at, I don't know, Cub Scouts or something back in like little boy, Boy Scout land. And he, he loves these. I'm a little, I might have to move them. I'm a little afraid the uh, cat is going to kill them. Um, but I, what I really wanted to show you was these guys. I love these guys. They come out every year. They're pipe, not pipe cleaners. They're um, paint rollers. They're snowmen made out of paint rollers. I can't. This guy is like, it's time to put up the lights and they're making me crazy. And this guy is like, oh no, there's a bird on my head. I, I love them so much. Mm. I did not make them because no crafting for me. Um, my sister made them and they're super, they're, they're adorable. I can't. I love them. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the shaky camera. That was it for me. Um, what am I going to do tonight? I'm super close to finishing my dishcloth. So that might happen tonight if we watch television and, um, I'm going to work some more on home for the holidays. And I have, to, I'm a few days behind on my granny square temperature stitch along. So those will happen today, uh, tonight as well. Although I won't show them tomorrow. I'll probably wait for the weekend, maybe Sunday to, to show you a week's worth instead of like, nobody wants to see a granny square stitched every single day. Um, all right, that's it for me. Have a happy Tuesday. Enjoy all your Flossmas videos. Stay safe. Stay well. Happy stitching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.